Hello guys, good morning from Lima, Peru. We are here with Felipe. Hola. Hola. Hello guys. <laughs> so one thing that catch our uh, attention is that in the car they hang the aloe together with the cross and the ribbon with a bunch of color. It's supposed to absorb the bad energy and they say that you know the more bad energy in the car that it's gonna go black so ta hopefully it doesn't turn black by the time we get out of the car. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kind of like what they do in the Chinese feng shui with the goldfish. So they say they have one gold goldfish and one black goldfish for good luck and bad luck. And then when one dies, you replace it. So again, with the aloe, once the aloe turns black, they replace it with new aloe to continue to absorb bad energy. So it's just really interesting. That's something that they do with the indigenous people. So the indigenous people uh, actually started this and they continue it here in Lima. Apparently it's a part of the religion called Chapu Mama. It's not Chapu. What is it? Oh, Bacha Mama. Bacha. Bacha Mama. Which means Mother Earth, you know? Ah, so Bacha Mama. Mother Earth, I feel like I'm saying a bad word when I say that. Look at the left guys. That is actually how Lima looked like back in the days. Really interesting. Jimmy, you see that they have the door for the tuk-tuk? Yeah. That's really cool. So then make sure that people don't bounce off the tuk-tuk. Because -tuk. tuk-tuk in Thailand, they don't have the door. Well, that as well as they can also keep all their stuff safe. So I saw them like locked up on the side of the road at night. You make sure nobody goes in their tuk-tuk at night as well. There's like doors on. It's really nice. Well, actually, she, he doesn't speak English. Yeah, but, but I just... Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. Tike tike? Mm -hmm. How to say... Gusto. Nestor, tike tike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. You can say, gusto uh, yeah. en conocerte. Yeah. You could say that. Gusto. Yeah. Yeah. So. Hola, Tuan. Hola. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> actually, guys, let me tell you. Hola. 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 Tuanama is actually sí. the leader of the community. This community that we are going to call Bello Horizonte, like mm. a like nice horizon. So it's Viva Villa El Salvador. So like Village El Salvador is actually where we are right now. So it's quite far away. It's about 24 five or 30 minutes from Boranco. And it's more of a local than a tourist area. But because we are in the suburb. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, we don't eat too, but actually we make a drink uh, called chicha morada. We it's from the, they say it's from the Indians in the US. Oh, so really? it's from like the Indians okay. have it in the US. Actually, for example, this one we boil with pineapple skin, cinnamon and cloves. Wow, that sounds really a good. Really, really good drink, which is like non-alcohol, no alcohol. Okay, called chicha morada. Chicha morada. Yeah, you got it. Chicha, chicha in Colombia is alcohol. George. George. And it's George. George. And he's actually the owner of a store that sells like a lot of chicken here. Amigo. Amigo? Amigo. Toma la foto. Amigo. Amigo. Yeah. You're cute. You can't kill your own You're amigo. Cute. Para amigo. que esté gordita mi casera, ve. Oh. I tell them to get more food, your friends, other friends. <laughs> Interesting because they don't actually eat yellow corn here. They feed it to the chickens though, which causes the chickens to be yellow. Especially like this when people consume a lot, of, especially like the old adults, you know, for getting a lot of collagen from the food, you know. Actually when the girls get married, people like starting like getting more fit here. For getting more collagen, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Get more power for you know? Like, oh, more power? Yeah. More power? Uh, mm. Más po Más poderosa, sí. Más poderosa. Yeah. Yeah, I eat too. Oh, super interesting, guys. I'm standing right in front of the local shaman. So basically, he's the local doctor. If anybody in this community feel like getting sick or feel like they need to get the medicine, you're instead sick. Of, you should try it. Instead of going to the doctor, they come to. You should try him. it. What should you're I sick. get? You're sick. You got a head cold. Should I? Yeah, try it. Felipe, what about if I try? She, she has congestion. Okay. Like she, she coughing. Okay. Can can she try oh, it? Absolutely. Yes. I have. Um, how to call that Congestion. in English? 
Congestion? Congestion, yeah. Yeah, coffee. Like, oh. yeah, coffee. <coughs> yeah. Uh, ¿Qué le puedes recomendar para probar? Jarabe. Jarabe. ¿Tienes un jarabe? Claro. Uh, good choice. All right, so I will see. I will go with the flow because people in this community just come here when they get sick, and he just gonna prepare me some drinks. I don't know if it's gonna taste good, but that's it. That's it. Onion, garlic, a lot of mint herbs, and ginger. And chuchuwasi from rainforest. So. Oh! <laughs> It is uh, it is alcohol in it. I feel like I'm gonna get drunk after di drinking this one. How much is it, man? So basically, he charged me nothing. Uh, when Felipe asked, like, how much do I owe him, and he said, "Welcome to Peru," <laughs> and he charged me nothing. So, gracias. <laughs> we actually got to see that doctor in magic like have him actually do his work so a girl came up and said her stomach hurt and then he prescribed her a certain drink and it's like a mix of different herbs and spices and things from the Amazon and local ingredients in order to cure her stomach problem and they did the same thing with Ta they got to cure her cough so I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet but it's an option to try here is your local remedies but little did we know, Peru actually won a prize for the best culinary eight years in a row. And they say that their secret is because of all of their sauces, their cilantro, all their the onion, their chili, the, all of the different sauces they have, especially at the local market. You can come to this lady and you can just get bags of different sauces to add to your food. So many things I have never seen before, like look at all this seed, look at all this, look at all this thing. So complicated. Hola, ¿cómo está, señorita? Hola. Está y él es Jimmy. Jimmy. Hola. Ajá, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> Otro Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I just look like Viviana sells like different kind of dishes and look at this. This is like another kind of fruit that we have here. What is that? Another type of passion fruit. Remember that Peru has a lot of types of passion fruits, yeah. like eight types of passion fruit. This is one of them, guys. This is actually quite sweet here. Actually, we could actually have the, after having the chicharron, if you're gonna have, we would actually try some couple of like fruits right here, too. Yeah. Peach? peach, yes, it's a kind of peach, too. <laughs> peach, uh, this le gusta el durazno. Small. But it's muy pequeño, dice. Dice que en Estados Unidos, where, where you have bigger? In the US? US? Like, come on. <laughs> In the US, it's the size of the oh, orange. No. Look, mm -hmm. this orange. This is small orange yeah, too. Yeah, no, this is clementine. Tangerine. 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 Oh, they are like bigger, of course. But they're like... What is this? It's like something bouncing around. Yeah, it? actually like the seat. This is ah. like the seat. This is like, so that's yeah. where you put your... I've never seen this kind of dragon fruit before in my life. Dragon fruit's my favorite fruit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, some of them we could buy actually after tea. Wow. So, as we haven't had breakfast yet, we stopped by at the Shisharon right store. Here. Guys. Yes. Bring from the corn, which is actually made from the corn, purple corn, pineapple skin, cinnamon, and cloves after boiling everything. I would like to try that. Soap. As we show you guys the black corn, and actually, people don't eat the black corn, they make a the drink out of it. Luckily, we are sitting at the Shisharon store and she got a bucket of, what is it called, Shisha Marara? Yes, you got it. Shisha Marara, right here. We can't just say Shisha because if you say Shisha alone, it means alcohol. And you say Shisha Marara, this is the drink that made out of corn. So we tried that together with Shisharon for breakfast. Perfect. It's the non-alcoholic national drink. Non-alcoholic national drink. Of Peru, you know? <laughs> this is national drink of Peru. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm trying mesh about during a Peru right now. Isn't it weird? Watch. Look at this. Somebody just messaged us on our page and said make sure you try chicharron and sweet potato sandwich. And we have it in our hand. That's so So good. thanks for the recommendation. I got it in my hand. <laughs> Is it spicy? Yeah, it's probably spicy. Alright! Ta is style for the challenge. Jimmy is style too. Mm. How is it? Amazing. It's chicharron, which is pork. It's like incredible, actually. It's the best breakfast ever. So there's a sweet potato here. Sweet there potato, onions, calam. Yeah. And chicharron. Yeah. That is spicy. It is spicy. It's spicy for me. I'm red. Little did I know that their like blue corn drink or their purple corn drink actually creates a natural sunblock behind your skin. So me being pale white and from the US, I need to drink this like every day. How do you like it? So good. So it was actually three souls per sandwich, which you said it could be like up to 10 souls in a tourist area. 10 to 15 souls for that sandwich. We just got it for three. If you come to the local market, here especially, it's really cheap and really affordable. So we paid eight for two drinks and two sandwiches. You could see the passion fruit over there. This is actually the juice of that passion fruit. La chicha es de la maíz morada. Remember this one? It's actually from the purple yeah, corn, you know? That we yeah, that we had before. Tiene piña, todo. It has pineapple. You remember when I told you yeah. pineapple, cinnamon, and cloves? And the yes, uh, yes, actually, like you, you see here, it's actually the seeds because they need to blend. Yes, they need to blend. Uh -huh. They need to blend everything, and actually, it's like the way how you can make this one too. Gracias, rico. Gracias, mami. Oh, you need to try it. It's delicious. It's okay. really tasty. I, I will try well, it right maybe, now. Oh, right now? Okay, just let me help you with the camera. Oh, delicioso. Delicioso. It's not too sour like the Asian passion fruit. It's like sweet and sour at the same time because the one in Asia is like pure sour. And I love this one so much. You to me. You need to boil and I need to extract all the kind of like. Thank you. What is it? Passion fruit. Should I try it? Yeah, she just gave us. Oh, it smells so good. It's different from Asian passion fruit. It's not too sour. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah. It's kind of like a kiwi passion fruit. Yeah, it's like kiwi. Yeah, it's like a kiwi yeah. passion fruit. Exactly. This is like not really sweet. I can't, I can't come up with the actual name. I've had this flavor before. Just like it. This is the passion for you. It's know? really good. Gracias. Encantado, mami. Gracias. Wow, usted también. They're gonna turn like a shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> so really, really interesting. Actually, before Lima was built, it was actually 100% a desert. So one of the main reasons for that is it doesn't ever really rain here. You get a little bit of rain, but about 12 millimeters of rain a year which is like nothing. So when you're in the local markets, these roofs are actually designed mainly for sun, not really for rain. So there's kind of holes in it. They don't really mind the rain because they barely ever get it. Yeah, um, I'm actually looking back. Let me know what it is. Yeah, I'm using my show. Mahal Gama. Okay. These are friends coming here. Luna, the light. The Luna. Uh, what do you say? What do you say? Lula. Lula. I didn't catch him. Oh, Hola. look at this guy. Hola. 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 Hey, legado. Hola. 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 
So in this shandy town, this is like the 60% of the population of Lima actually lives in these shandy towns and it's separated between gates. And the reason they separate it, it's kind of the same reason that it was in Colombia. Like it's quite dangerous and they have their own sections. So they know who's coming in each section. So as a tourist, it's quite difficult. You can't really come to these shandy towns, especially in the different sections because there used to be problems with kidnapping and uh, it was like for slavery and stuff. So. The buildings behind us is actually the, the library and the daycare center and the money from this tour that you pay to take this tour actually goes to the library and to the daycare center to pay somebody to watch the kids because there's a lot of single moms here so then the single moms can actually go to work for the day and their kids can be safe and watched so actually taking this tour helps support the community a lot and you get the option to give back to the community and the kids as well so you can walk around and you can offer like fruits and vegetables and different things and drinks to the kids as you walk through the community and see the community Oh, these kind of like yellow stairs guys, they were made by the... Hello! Oh, she's inviting you, she's inviting you to actually get in. Hola! Hola. What is this time? She has the pet of her youngest uh, daughter. Hello! Her name is Dulce. Dulce. The English is sweet. Ah! Yeah, thanks, Dad. Hola! <laughs> Hola, Dulce. Dulce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ducky so, yeah. too. Hello, Ducko. Ah, con tes nombre. Hey, see, yeah. she understand what I say. Hola. Oh, you guys? Hi. 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 This is for you. Ya está, come. Esto El es plato, no la cáscara. Esto es para ti. Dulce. Yeah, dulce. Dulce. <coughs> Gracias. You know, guys, and the first fruit that we must give to the It's okay. <laughs> Gracias, dice. Gracias. The newborn baby in Peru, the parents give a uh, passion fruit to the newborn baby, yeah? And the baby just swallow the seed. Oh, without seed first. Right. Oh, without seed first. I think my face look pretty much like her. Dulce <laughs> <laughs> and Elizabeth. Hola. No? Hola, Dulce. Dulce, say hola. Dulce, say hola. Hola, Dulce. ¿Cómo estás? What is this thing in my face? ¿Qué hago ahí? Dice. <laughs> oh, she. She did it. Say hola, tú sé. No. Ok. Pa, 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 Alright guys, we are still walking in this community and first impression is like every house they got a dog. You don't see police Hola. here because... Hola! Frutas! Frutas! You want the banana? Hey. Yeah, we are going to... Where about? I love this kid! Every house have a dog. There's no police here. Dog. At as the security guard here. Oh, look at this. Is it for tomorrow, Gabriel? Oh. Okay. Para 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 ya? Oh, tomorrow he said like you can bring some cookies. Ah, oh, you want cookies? Chao, Gabriel. Cuídate mucho. Who's the cutest kid in the world? <laughs> he saw a drink in my bag. He's like, oh, I want that too. <laughs> okay, you can have it.